New York against Ahmed Abdeen. Abdeen comes in with a very impressive 23 and one record. How's this matchup look? It's a real crossroads fight for both guys, both coming off losses and tough fights. The winner is going to go right back into the mix and the loser is really going to go to the back of the class. So that's our first fight of the night on the heavyweight explosion. So drag up a chair and enjoy it from Biloxi, Mississippi, as Cedric Kushner presents the heavyweight explosion. It's straight ahead. Cedric Kushner's heavyweight explosion is being brought to you by Corona Extra, La Cerveza Masfina, and by the Grand Casino, Biloxi, Mississippi. The boxing crowd in Mississippi starting to get pumped up for the heavyweight explosion here at the beautiful theater. And a good crowd is on hand tonight as we greet you for our first fight of the night as we indicated Ray Ennis. If we were talking to you in the 93-94 range of this particular decade, Ray Ennis would certainly be one of those guys on the tip of your tongue as a very much of a top contender, but not so any longer. Ahmed Abdeen, however, may be the man of the moment with that 23-1 and three record as he goes against Ray Ennis. As they get ready to go before they get their things off, let's get Ladies the Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Biloxi, Mississippi and the beautiful Gulf Coast. We're here at the exotic Grand Casino, the boxing capital of the South. These bouts are sanctioned by the Mississippi State Athletic Boxing Commission. The Honorable Billy Lyons is the chairman and Sal Tarinto is the chief deputy commissioner. Our doctors at ringside are Dr. Dodd, Todd Coulter and Dr. Lance Barnes. Cedric Kushner Promotions in association with Corona Extra presents the Heavyweight Explosion. This is our co-main event, ladies and gentlemen. There's only one thing left to say. It's time to lace up the gloves and get down to business. 10 rounds of action in the heavyweight division. The man in charge is Fred Steinwinder III. First, let me introduce to you, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks. He weighed in at 240 pounds. He comes to us from Brooklyn, New York. His professional record, 24 wins, four losses, 18 wins by KO. Please welcome Ray Ennis. Ennis. His opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the green trunks with a white trim. He weighed in at 237 pounds, originally from Syria, now fighting out of Houston, Texas. His professional ring record, 23 wins, one loss, three draws, 10 wins by KO. Please welcome Ahmad Abdeen. It pointed out quite a crossroad fight for both of these fighters and a good moment for them on the heavyweight explosion one very much on his way up one very much possibly on his slight slide down but a win here tonight Bob would certainly turn it back around for Ray Ennis a bit. First thing I notice is both guys claim to be 6'3 but Ray Ennis has either got high heels on or remarkable <laughs> height. He's grown a little bit. Get, try to get his jab off. Abdeen's got to get inside on Ennis and Ennis would like the box on the outside. Ray Ennis is a good, you know, boxer puncher. He's known as a heavy-handed fighter, and Abdeen is known as a guy that likes to get inside, rough up his opponents, and a real good body puncher. You know, Abdeen's a very interesting story, of course, coming to Houston for most of his amateur career. His father brought him over when he was only 16 years of age, realizing that to be in America was where he was going to try to carry full force his dream of becoming a professional boxer. And boy, did he have a great career with that 50 and five record. Junior Olympic champion went back to Syria, won the Mediterranean champion, the Asian games, the Mideast games. Quite an outstanding performer and a four time Golden Glover. And again, a guy that right now that 23 wins wants to go onward and upward in his pro career. Good left punch that time by Anna's just slipped off and retaliated by Abdeen. Those guys got to start with their jab. You know, who's ever going to be successful with that? Even though Ennis has got the height and reach, FG needs to move his head, jab his way in, and then work that wide body. Whereas Ray Ennis wants to throw that jab and then come with that big right hand of his. They mentioned in the 92, 93, and 94 were the heydays for Ray Ennis. Very much considered as one of the top young heavyweights coming up. Now at 31. 
trying to get some uh, opportunities to climb back into a heavyweight picture. But the 24-year IP may have different words tonight on our heavyweight explosion. And has tried to pop shot for the outside. A minute to go in round one. Annis is coming in trying to recover from a first round knockout at the hands of John Ruiz. Uh, coming in June of uh, this year. He really just got caught very, very early in the round. He didn't, didn't warm up properly, and, and it was a devastating loss for him. But a win over Abdeen could, could balance the books on all that and put him right back in. Abdeen, meanwhile, was losing a tough 12 rounder to Larry Donald, who's on our main event fighter tonight for the WBC uh, Continental America's title. So a tough 12 rounds last fought by Abdeen. That Dean doesn't want to be on the ropes. He wants to put Ray Anus on the ropes. But uh, both guys got a feeling out process both right now in the first round. Both of them trying to get some things set up. Closing seconds of round number one. And again, a solid round by Dean, who is going to try to be the man that is pursuing today. Looking both the fighters as a hit for their corner. And Dean setting down again from Syria. And a fighter that came into this fight tonight with 10 uh, knockouts to his career. And several of those have come inside of three rounds. Stop, wait, don't wait on it. Let's take a look at the numbers of these two fighters tonight. Ray Ennis at 240. Abdeen at 237, again, uh, both listed at 6'3", and those high heels are working for Annis, I think. And you see the reach, a slight advantage for Annis, and again, the difference in the age of both these fighters. That's the tail of the tape. We are in the great state of Mississippi, getting ready for round number two of a scheduled 10 rounder as we open up the heavyweight explosion at the Grand Casino. Second round is here. Ray Annis with his back to you quickly is greeted by Ahmed Abdeen. Abdeen coming out, throwing that big right lead. And we'll try to back him up. And Bob Spagnola, our partner at ringside, said one of the places he wanted to get Annis was on the ropes, and he's got him there. He's got to move his hands while he's got him in there. And, you know, Ray wants to fight on the outside where he can use his leverage and, and load up his punches, which he is a very good leverage punchy. Puncher. Abdeen, on the other hand, wants to work right in here, right on the inside. Ray's got a tendency to keep his hands in front of his face on the inside. It really opens up his body, which should make him susceptible to Abdeen's body work. Abdeen's possessing a knockout punch of 10 of his 23 fights. Seven of those 10 have come inside the first three rounds. Yeah, Dean's not a big puncher. He's a guy that gets it done with, you know, work over a period of time. Good, good body puncher, good natural balance. Don't push down, don't push down like that. Oh, break it up, break it up. Of the two of them, Ray Ennis is definitely the heavier-handed fighter. But there you see Dean finding a home for those body punches, and that will pay dividends later in this fight. Bob, you've watched him train in Houston. Good trainer when he gets in the gym. Well, if anything, you know, the kid was very, very, very hard worker early on. It, it, when, he, when he first boxed in the gym, he was about 140 pounds. He's having an excellent round here. But he, he's, as we've said in Houston, you know, he's gotten a little too Americanized. And he's not doing the hard work that he used to do. Although he worked very hard for this fight. He was in camp with Lou Savarese for several weeks upstate New York. And uh, he paid the price. Ryan is fighting a home for that hook to the body. Which in the heavyweight division, you always look for the one big punch to the head. But in the heavyweights, those body punches can certainly take their toll if you're throwing enough of them. A minute to go in round two. Set for ten. They also say, you know, if you're fighting a body puncher, hit him in the body because generally they don't like it. Abdeen's found a real home for that left, left hook to the body in this round. There he lands it again. He's looping it around the, the low elbow that Ray Ennis is holding. Two big, strong heavy weights. You know, regardless of what their real heights are, uh, there's a lot of beef in there. 
Dean turns well on those punches, both the right and the left hand with good balance. And as you see, throwing that right hand well off balance. And setting down on those two combination punches. Closing 10 seconds of round number two. Annis against Aldean on the heavyweight explosion. Grand Casino Biloxi at the theater. Good crowd filing in for tonight's heavyweight explosion as some of the up and coming fighters from around the world, literally. Coming in to fight on the explosion as Cedric Christian are bringing them together in Mississippi is the state that rules them. And these are the rules, 10-point must system. Three judges are scoring, mandatory eight count. The three knockdown rule is in effect here in Mississippi. Have to go down three times in a single round. Only the referee can stop the fight. However, he does get advice from the doctors. Cards after five rounds in a case, of course, if they go to an accidental headbutt. Save with the bell only in the last round here in Mississippi. Back him up. You the man. Back him up. Ray is getting his final instructions that we have for the third. <laughs> Round three of the explosion from Biloxi at the Grand Casino. Sam Smith, Bob Spagnola. Thanks for tuning in tonight as we bring you the heavyweights from around the world. And they found in the third round. Ray Ennis, 31 years of age out of Brooklyn, New York. A passel, of course, of great uh, wins as an amateur, 36 and 4. Now just trying to find one more big win that'll vault him back into potential of fighting some more paydays. Abdeen in the green, however, is very much in his way up as a young 24-year-old from Syria. Fighting out of Houston, and he takes the measure of Ennis here in the third. Big load up punch. Ray Ennis has always been kind of an enigma. You know, he came out of the New York Golden Gloves. He was very well thought of. Highly touted, you know, being a New York City Golden Gloves champion and, and known to be a hard puncher, supposedly uh, knocking guys out in the gym, very good, well-known fighters. But uh, he, he's just, he's not a mean kid. He's a real gentleman. And, you know, sometimes it's, it takes a little bit of the real nastiness in you to, uh, to to take it up a level in this business. At, at the end of the last round, he had some success. He backed that beat, backed that bean up and, uh, you know, Threw some heavy punches on him, but and they were telling him, they said, "Look, you, you got to back this guy up, pressure him. You're the man." And he just came out and kind of started settling back. So we'll have to see. He's definitely got the athleticism and the ability as a fighter, but uh, he's had some problems. Good start of this round for Abdeen, but uh, let's see what happens. And it started out by winning his first 12 championship uh, pro careers. On his 13th, he was stopped by Never Say Quit, William Morris. Remember him in the back? Stopped him there. He rebounded well with a third round knockout over Terrell Biggs over in Tokyo. Seven in a row, and probably the fight that turned his career totally around. He lost, and they knocked out in the seventh round of Jimmy Thunder in July of 95, and he never really was able to recover after that, it seemed. A minute to go in round three. Yeah, I don't believe he was knocked out by Morris. He was beaten in an eight-round decision, but it was just that he waited so much. Morris was about a 500 fighter, 15 wins, 15 losses out of Philadelphia with no punch, but and Ennis was undefeated and coming very highly touted out of New York, but he just, Morris showed him no respect. He just jumped on him, threw a lot of punches. He never really hurt Ray Ennis, but he just got off on him so much that he, he was able to win the decision, and, and that really set Ennis' career back. As Ennis started weathered the storm here, Bob, in this round, looks like he did. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah no, he, he, he has. He has. Uh, Abdeen stung him with some punches, but he's a good puncher. I mean, he's got a good chin. He's not... The times he's been stopped, it's either been by an accumulation of punches or obviously with the Ruiz, he, he started slow. And... Well, they've added the dimension we're looking for in the heavyweight explosion. They are indeed battling here in Biloxi. Abdeen, originally from Syria, now fighting out of Houston. Right? Hit this guy with a jab and go to the body. It's simple as that. You gonna listen? You're not gonna listen. It's a big turning point in your career, Ray. You can't let nobody get to you with nobody. You understand? You let him enforce his.
his will. You gotta go to work, man. You can't you stand around the way. Would you come? Would you stand around waiting on the floor? You're looking for one shot. The guy's got a good chin. There's a lot of people talking about the corner right now. Boston, Ray. That's yeah, they're trying to pump Ray in his up. That's the reason they may be talking to him here. That Dean really loading up there. As he had a very solid round. Bell sounds and the fighters are up off the stools for round four of the explosion from Biloxi. Ab Dean in the green, Annis in the white. Ab Dean a very, very solid third round. Bob, we saw Bobby the first minute and a half. That's about as solid as we've seen uh, Ab Dean fight in quite a while, but Annis was able to bail himself out and came on and quitted himself well before the round was over. Now, uh, really, Ab Dean has also suffered from the same uh, problems that Ray Ennis does. He, he's not a mean guy. He's not a very aggressive fighter, but I like the way he looked there at the beginning of that round, coming to Ennis with some bad intentions, although he, he faded towards the end of the round, but he still won the round strongly. Both fighters abandoned in the jab. And it's waiting to get pumped up as his corner was wanting him to do. They were encouraging that jab and followed up with a combination, but he's only been able to throw a couple of token jabs. You see another one there with nothing behind it. Up. Nice strategy here by the Syrian. Neither guy really seems like he wants to lead in this fight. Which, you know, Abdeen, he wants to, like I said, get inside and, and work Ennis over. But even when he, he waits on the outside, it seems that Ray Ennis there throwing some pretty good body punches of his own. So a lot of trombone players and no. Orchestra leaders right now. Abdeen looked like he was going to try to take control of the third. Let that slip away. We're less than a minute away from the end of the fourth. Scheduled for 10. On some heavyweight boxing from the Grand Casino in Biloxi. And his place is humming. Abdeen trying to steal this round with some good combinations towards the end. That's what he did in round three, too, Bob. See, this is Ray, the, the downfall of Ray Ennis. You see him sitting on the ropes here. He just can't get off anything there. And he's, he's found himself in that position throughout his career, laying back there and blocking punches. Closing seconds of the fourth round. Neither fighter really doing what they wanted to do in the fourth. They'll be heading for round five on the explosion in a moment. see a great view in the theater here at the Grand Casino Biloxi. There's a side of many great shows. We, by the way, are right in the middle of the stage. No singing, please, Bob. And, of course, uh, you can see the theater seating on either side and directly on the opposite side of the ring from us here at the theater. At Dean, again, looking in his corner here. There's as much concern for kind of keeping him calm and keeping him uh, kind of relaxed. And trying to get him into the fight as far as his condition with anything in that team's corner here tonight. You ain't got look for Listen to me good. Uppercut. Keep the jab in his face. He don't like that right hand to the body. Oh, he's he's giving you the fight. Jab, touch him. Pardon me. Back it down, guys. Greg, jab, touch him. Drop that shoulder. Left hook underneath. He's giving me the all day. Let's go, man. Let's go, Greg. Got to move on, man. Round five with Ray Annis, a former outstanding boxer out of Brooklyn, New York. Now with his 24-4 and record, and there in itself is still an illustrious one. You have to keep in mind, though, that he's lost two out of his last three fights, including a second knockout of his career as he went down to John Ruiz in the first round in his last fight. There's Ennis trying to get off that jab. If he could do that, he'd drop some right hands behind it. This could be his fight. 
You like that uppercut strategy that we're talking about, Bob? Well, if he can employ it, it, it certainly is a nice punch, but at the same time, this is, I like this more, a little movement on him, work that jab. That Dean's got to shorten up this distance here. Now, this is a contrast to styles that we expected earlier, and they started out really just smothering each other and, and wrestling a lot, which favors that Dean. But, and as if he can box with that jab, leave that jab out there and start to drop right hands on Abdeen. That's what he wants to do. Another thing Abdeen is doing is lunging a great deal. Oh, good right hand by Abdeen there. Coming in from the outside. But Dan Annis in some trouble. I was just about to say with Abdeen kind of lunging. He leaves himself open and Annis can find an opening. But when he leaves and lunges like that with a punch that lands, it's a good one. And he handed Annis a little shot and sent him back to the ropes. Stay a little this year when they get in tight. <laughs> you see the good combinations thrown by the Syria. Now, both fighters doing the things that they want to do here in this round, and Abdi probably being a little bit more effective, although here comes in his back. He shouldn't fight at being on the inside like this. Although he's getting his here and he's getting his respect, this isn't where he wants to be. There you see Abdi with those real good body shots on Ray Ennis. And then he just works upstairs with a pretty good right hook there. Ray started the round off very well, boxing behind the jab. But there, see, he's giving Abdeen those hooks to the body. Both those punches will pay dividends later in the fight. He's just giving it to him right there. And Abdeen's finally taken it. And once, of course, the guards start dropping for Annis trying to protect his midsection, you know what that opens. And also, you know, when you come out boxing and then you stop boxing, it's a mental victory for your opponent. Your opponent says, look, now he's not boxing. I slowed him down. You start boxing and moving. Ali used to just, he, even he might not be effective. He might not land. Look at those good body punches by Abdeen. He's going to continue to take that until Ray Annis takes it away from him. And, and he's turned this around and around with those, those body punches. You can almost see Annis as he almost starts to cringe before the body punch gets there. He knows that it's coming and how much it has hurt him in this fight. As they end round five with again, Al Dean throwing body punches to Ray Annis and maybe taking the steam out of it. There you go. Well, if you're sitting at ringside, that's the view you would have tonight at the theater here at the Grand Casino in Biloxi. And a fight that has started to and if you were one of those guys that was invited to get in with the heavyweights, your walk would take you here. And I think you might want to stop before you go up those steps. It is not a place for the timid in between the ropes so far. Every time Annis looks like Bobby's going to get himself into trouble, he seems to have that little spurt at the end of every round. Right, but that spurt at the end of the round, it is not, he does, he backs that Dean up, but he hasn't been effective, he hasn't scored with that. He started magnificently here in the beginning of this round, the first 30 seconds, he boxed nice. But then he gave it up, and here we see Abdeen taking what's been given to him, taking what's given to him. Nice little Chris uppercut as Abdeen gets ready for round six. The two heavyweights opening up round number six on the heavyweight explosion on the set with Kushner Sports Network. Sam Smith along with Bob Spatnola tonight here from the Grand Casino in Biloxi. Interesting fight tonight in the fact that Abdeen, who has been able and almost in the third round, put Annis in some real trouble, has taken advantage of probably out of the first five rounds, two or three, to win the first half of the fight in that round. And then Annis somehow finds a little bit of muster and comes back to fight well at the end of each of those rounds. Abdeen looks like he's starting to cut the ring here a little bit on Annis, too, Bob. Oh, yeah, and, and Ray's not back. causing him back. to cut it too much. In the beginning of that last round, when Ennis really put, got on the balls of his feet and moved around a little bit, you can see a lot of redness in the face of Ray Ennis here. And I think that you can also notice, if you look on Ray's record, that this is one of the heaviest he's ever fought. And I think he's carrying around a little bit of extra weight. Good call by the heaviest he'd ever weighed before. Well, actually, he weighed 245 when he fought uh, Mike Faulkner, but again, at 240, this is the second highest he's ever weighed. Yeah, and Faulkner was just a, was a win for him. And, and you see him getting some good punches together, got a little warning for a low blow there, but I don't know that he ought to be trying to... I don't know 
that he should be trying to, I think his, his hooks to the body have been affected, but I don't think he should try to outfight that beam on the inside. I think he's got to, he's got to do what he does best, which is, you know, use that one, too, because I think if he hit Abdeen with some of those right hands of his, straight right hands off the jab, that he could really do some damage. But in here, look at the redness in the, around the eyes and nose of Ray Ennis, and then the, the body punches that Abdeen continues to score cleanly. And he is really starting to sit down on some combinations. He gets that body shot, Ennis backs up, allows him to throw some up towards the shoulder and a couple have slipped in to get some real shots to Ennis. He has a little trickle of blood coming from his nose as well. It's funny how they both, you know, Abdeen's doing decent with his jab and, and Ray who landed a lead right hand there on Abdeen. See Ennis, if he can open up on you like this at any time, it really is an explosive puncher. If you just get off more, he just, you see his corner and forward and to come forward, come forward and do, you know, continue to do that, but it's Abdeen that gets off here at the end of the round. Body shots and then working his way up to the head. And Ennis just leaning on the ropes and taking the punishment for a moment before it's broken up. Fred Stein winding the third. Our referee here on our co-feature tonight of the heavyweight explosion. Closing seconds of round six. Don't last him Meter. Those last two or three throws yeah, no. by both fighters would not count inside the round as the bell had sounded. Right there, you see working on that little trick of the blood. You're not doing enough to win a fight, man. You're doing enough to stay alive, we're not winning a fight. He's not doing enough to win this fight. We'd have to buy that with our crosswords, crossroads fight, certainly by both these fighters coming in tonight. Well, neither fighter can afford to lose this fight. And, you know, as I said before, the, the winner is going to be right back in the mix, and the loser is going to be at the back of the class, but especially Ray Ennis. And it's not just losing the fight, but, you know, he's certainly not being blown, blown out at all, but he's, his performance continues to be somewhat lethargic. He, you know, to know that everything, they said to him, Ray, do you want this fight? Do you want to win this fight? And he said, yeah, and they said, well, get out there and act like it. That Dean's got some pretty good spring in him. Well, he just kind of explodes with those punches. I think he knows that uh, he's got to pay attention fighting Ray Ennis. He cannot, you know, you, you cannot rest with this guy because if you get Ray Ennis a clean shot on you, he can turn out the feet. He can work the light switch on you, Sam. Almost appeared that Ennis had, of course, his light switched almost dimmed in the third round. They recall that was around to open it up and have Dean back into the ropes. Had him staggering backwards somewhere away. Was able to reach down and survive the round and came on very strongly on my dad. Now Steinwinder certainly trying to make a point here to Ray Ennis on when he's asked to break, break, and do not hit off that break. Yeah, he's warned him a couple of times and it's, you know, Ennis takes a good punch. He's just, uh, Abdeen hasn't, you know, he got his attention there in the third round, but Ennis, if anything, is like a sleeping giant. You know, sometimes when you shake him up a little bit, you put yourself in the line of fire, because he might wake up and do something to you. Abdeen's still trying to turn those lights off, though. Ennis still plotting straight ahead. Ennis 
to me, Bob, of just not giving himself what is called a punching distance. He works himself in probably about, what would you say, six, eight inches too close and can't use that good reach advantage at all. No, no, you're, you're absolutely right, Sam. He has. He's, he's fighting in at Bean's in that beans distance, you know, at beans flexes it on the inside. He's got much shorter arms and, and works good to the body. And Ray wants to be on the outside. And he's just not, you know, here when they're on the outside, he doesn't move his hands. He doesn't upset the jab up. And although he's been doing, he's been doing well, punching to the body against that bean, some things that I'm sure they worked on. But if he could add that on top of doing, see, there's that bean again, taking those body shots and just working Ray over. So the seventh round has been a carbon copy of the previous ones as Ray Ennis looks for something to come against Ed Dean in the next round. It's always great to travel around the world on the Southern Christian Sports Network bringing you the best of the heavyweights. And a stop here in Mississippi has brought you one on his way up at Dean. One teetering on his way down, possibly in Ray Ennis. Ennis continuing to show a big heart, though. But just still lacking a little of that killer instinct that uh, we might have seen early on in his career. But this guy certainly is able to turn it up at time. But as Bob pointed out, neither one of them have that real go after you when you have uh, someone hurt type Suck mentality it up, take a deep at the breath. moment. Take a deep breath and let's go out here and yo, let's beat this guy, Ray. Let's get it go. No, oh, Eddie looks good in this fight. I mean, he seems All right. like he's got a little let's spring go. in his leg. He seems like he's a little excited about being back in professional boxing. Getting on the break, uh, which brought the ire coming out from the referee. Ahmed Abdeen opening up. Round number eight of a scheduled 10 round of a heavyweight explosion. Ray Ennis with his back to you. Trying to use that good reach and the jab that sets something up, but is not been able to throw many combinations off of it. And that Fred Steinwinder was just taking control. He's a really good official. He's taking control of that fight. Uh, Ray had, you know, punched on the break a couple of times. And, and that being, he had warned that being for hitting behind the head. And he warned Ray for it, too. It's been a pretty clean fight by both guys. But he's just the kind of official that's continuing to uh, keep, keep control in there with those two big fellas. Punching power again by FD. Again, very much a fighter that comes in spurts, though, it seems. Be a lot of heavyweights fight that way. Again, once he starts throwing punches, it seems like there's no stopping sometimes. No, he's been letting his hands go with four, three and four punch combinations, especially down to the body. But and Ray hasn't, but I'll tell you something. One punch for Ray Ennis can turn this fight around. He's been just a little bit short with some blistering hooks in this fight and some big right hands and any one of those. I'll tell you, one of the biggest moves that Abdeen has made in this fight is he's broke Ray Ennis' rhythm with a good, powerful jab in there on the inside. Several times, right when Ennis is trying to get off, Abdeen will break, his, break the combination, break his rhythm with a good, strong jab, and then get back started on the body. Ray Ennis has always been, in the early part of his career, a quick starter. Eight first-round knockouts, but he works here in round number eight against Stab Dean, who tries to look for knockout number 11, but can he get it against Ennis? He's thrown a lot of punches, and Ray has survived so far. And now it's coming back and trying to dish out some of his own. still hiding behind that peekaboo style, which has opened up the body work for Abdeen, and you see him hooking to the shoulder and coming right downstairs. And he's throwing a pretty good body punch. Boy, his corner is really asking to come on. But you see Ray with his hands up in front of his face makes a perfect foil for Abdeen's body work, and you know, he's looking over to his corner, but he, he knows what he's got to do. He's seen enough of this guy to know there's a good combination by Anus. Ray is a tight fighter, particularly right now at age 31. He's got gas in the gas tank. He's got the car and gear, but for some reason it just won't go. As we close the eighth round. Well, I think
take one of the cheers coming out of the crowd. You may have heard one punch will do it. And certainly it does with a heavyweight explosion. And that's what makes this series so exciting, Bob, is that indeed one punch turns what looked like to be a defeated fighter into a winner in any one of these fights. Now, these are the big guys, and you know, like we were talking about before, they a lot of them have control. They got their electricians firm in and they can work that light switch. I think Abdeen's ahead in this fight for by two or three rounds at this stage at least, but he's in with a heavy puncher, and it's not just that one punch can can win the fight, but you knock a guy down and it changes everything in the scoring. It's a big swing, two-point round, and this fight's not over yet. Well, you can see, of course, the theater seating here, which is a very laid-back atmosphere here at the casino. It is anything but that in the casino here at the Grand Casino. They are really cooking over there, and so are we as we head for the night. Abdeen out of Syria, now fighting out of Houston quickly into the center of the ring against Ray Ennis. For the ninth of ten rounds, scheduled tonight on the heavyweight explosion. I'll tell you another thing that's significant about this stage of the fight. Abdeen early in his career had several draws. He was ahead on the cards in all of those fights, and he stopped fighting. He became very cautious later in the in the last few rounds of the fight. One fight particularly in Boston, he was way ahead. He last lost the last two rounds, and they were scoring the fight where the officials were, were giving the scores at the end of every round, so they knew at the end of eight rounds he was winning the fight. But he, he gave up the last two rounds, really through inactivity. Let's see if he can, and he is, he's, he's throwing punches here and staying aggressive here in the ninth round. It's interesting you bring that fight up. That was against Will Hinton in March of 1995 in Boston. Then it came back in a comeback fight in June of 96. He knocked Hinton out in a fourth round knockout to show the progress of what he learned out of that draw, possibly. Also in the style of the fight, you know, he's not, he knows he's got to, you know, show good spring in his step here, and he's continuing to work Ray in his body. I think those body punches have paid dividends for him. Again, hitting off the break, a warning by Mr. Steinwinder. I don't think Fred will give him too many more warnings. It's not so much hitting on the break, but he's, he's hitting him in the back of the head. It's a, it's a very dangerous punch. starting to earn his money now here in the night. Stepping in between this mass of humanity, 240 for Ennis, 237 for Abdeen. Abdeen, of course, during his amateur career training in Houston, still had a opportunity of going back to his native Syria. As we mentioned earlier, winning the Mediterranean games and also the Middle East games. Bob Toiling in the States, of course, junior Olympic champion and also a four-time Golden Glove champion. Really loved the fight in Texas and has shown him that he has some skills, and he's seen it here again tonight. Work your hands, work your hands. certainly get a little bit more determination looking on his face than he had a little despair early on. Still trying to find that opening on that beam. Well, that Dean has done a good job of in this fight. Is he, he's kept up his work rate. He's done a good job of that and not, you know, laid in there and wrestled a lot. He's, he's broken well, and when he, after the break, he shortens up the distance and gets right back in. He's really done a good job defensively making Ray Ennis miss those big, heavy punches. The big guys are heading for the tenth and final round as they'll battle on for a decision here tonight in boxing. Ray Ennis, of course, in his corner, getting his instructions, and now they have to be uh, somewhat concerned that they know he's down in the car. They know that one punch from Ray Ash can certainly turn it around. Last round, Ray. Yo, you can't hear anything about your career. You got to go out there and knock that motherfucker out right now. All right? You can't stop punching for three minutes, Ray. You can't stop till he falls. Lots of warnings tonight from the referee. Greg Steinwinder to get off the break. And watch as Abdeen turns, and there's that hit behind the head that is caught the ire of the referee and has drawn that towards Ray Ennis, but he hadn't taken a point away as of yet. And Dean throwing combinations and that clubbing right hand to the head after setting it up with the body punches. And we're heading for the final round. Everyone explosion comes down to the wire and the final round here. 
Ray Annis. Ahmed Abdi touch gloves for the final three minutes of the fight. I've got Ray Annis needing a knockout to win here, and that's what his corner's been telling him the last two rounds, and I'm sure he knows that. Let's see what Abdi knows. He still seems like he's got some good spring in his step, and... Uh, Moving his head, keeping his hands up. That's what he needs to do. That may have been the best setup of a right hand that Ray Ennis had the entire fight. A double left jab and missed the right hand. The one, one thing Abdeen doesn't want to do here with Ennis is, you know, do that thing that we see all the NFL football teams do. They go, they get into a, a groove where they put the prevent defense on, and to me, it's the kiss of death. You stop a team all night from from uh, being successful, marching the ball down the field, and all of a sudden you put the prevent defense on, and they they take it right up the field. He needs to stay aggressive. That's what he needs to do. Work that body and continue finish this fight like he started it. Abdeen looking for his 24th win. Rayan is trying to get number 25 and trying to avoid the fifth loss of his career at age 31. His corner has continually said it. Do you want to continue your career? This may be the fight that gives you a big signpost as you either continue to fight at this level or start certainly continuing to spiral down. Dean doing a good job here in this last round, getting some punches off, keep Ennis honest, and then as soon as they get on the inside, he's, he's grabbing him, holding him, walking him around a little bit. <laughs> we see Abdeen employing Ling and some movement here. He doesn't want to stand right there in front of Ray Ennis. And see that jab, Sam? Throughout this fight, he's broken Ray Ennis' rhythm with that jab. When he sees Ennis getting ready to load up with that big that big shot, he breaks his rhythm with that jab. And off the break, that probably would be well, that's definitely the point. Not that it'll have any consequence in this fight here tonight, and now it's a very stern morning. Not only that, but you know, he could something like that is very dangerous. That team is way ahead here. He, he doesn't want to get into a brawl. Ray's obviously not thinking very clearly at this stage of the fight. So I'm sure that word that has been flashing his corner career continues to come back. But tonight, a guy by the name of Ahmed Abdeen has tried to take the steam out of Ennis as we close in in the final seconds of the 10th round. All right now, an explosion. Look at those haymakers by Ennis, but he's missed them all. Look out. And this one is over from Biloxi tonight. The 10th round has brought the excitement of the crowd on the edge of their seats here. As Anna certainly gave it his all to try to end with a knockout, but this man, Abdeen, had done his job through 10. Played his part, pointed out a prevent defense here in the 10th round that paid off, giving him only, as they say in the football vernacular, only short passes and no home run balls. On the other side of the coin, Rianis. Appeared to recover from the third round beating that he almost staggered and fell on. Came back to fight well all the way through, but then it was clear that Abdeen had the big lead. And there is a hit off the break in that point. You talk about really having the referee get excited there. There's another one on the break. And if that's not enough, take that. And that could. Of course, been a disqualification is anything, but of course, it has only been warnings up to that stage. Impressive part of that deed is the fact that, as Bob pointed out, continues to have to fight. He took Ray Annis out of his rhythm. He never could really let him get his length on the outside, even though I don't think Annis really tried that much to keep his distance and measure the punches outside. But that deed probably had a great deal to do with that. Another thing that he did so well was, of course, to use that great body punching ability and did an excellent job of punching to the body that took the steam out of Rihanna's. So if Abdeen hopes to climb the ladder in the heavyweight division at 237, only 24 years of age, he certainly did his job here tonight on the explosion. Don't think he ever was really in any big trouble. I don't think Annis ever really hit him with any thing would probably get him into trouble. But the cards are in. The judges are ready for the decision. And let's head upstairs. Bruce Foster has the official decision. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecard for the judge's decision. Judge Paul Cedar scores this bout 98-92. Judge C.D. Jenkins scores this bout 98-93. Judge Robert Williams saw, saw this bout 97-93. Your winner by unanimous decision, Ahmad Abdi. the winner by a decision gets win number 24 of his young career against one loss and three by a draw 10 knockouts by the sir now fighting out of houston texas but continues to climb the ladder and the training out of houston and of course coming from syria bob spagnola has got the winner up in the ring let's go upstairs now bob take it away i'm here with Ahmad and a pretty good performance in there against a very tough guy yeah thanks first i want to thank allah for giving me this win yeah, he's a tough guy. He's a powerful guy. I mean, you see, he got a lot of experience for fighting. I mean, fighting me. Now, throughout the fight, you seem to, you know, he he wanted to work his jab against you, and at the same time, and drop right hands, and you wanted to get inside and and work the body, which you were very successful in doing. But your jab was very effective in breaking his rhythm throughout the fight. Did you think that was a key? Yeah, that's why I was working in the gym. I was trying to work inside, break his jab, because I know he got a good jab. I've seen his fights before. Now I'm trying to work on the body more, slow him down, because I know he's a powerful punches. You can see it's all his knockout. That's how I was working in the gym. That's when my uncle was working with me all the time. No, it was really, listen, we said before this fight, this was a crossroads fight for both of you. Both of you are coming off losses, but you're right back into the mix of things with this fight, right back into the, right back into the thick of things. Yeah, because I haven't fought since my last fight. I lost the decision to Laredano. I took a couple of months off, but now I'm back. I'm back to fight again next month. I want to say in the gym. All right, well, excellent performance. Congratulations. Back to you, Sam. Thank you, Bob, and congratulations again to Ahmed Abdeen. And you heard a